This year made one thing crystal clear. There are countless ways to make money with AI. But most people stop at the basics. Automations, chatbots, the same rinse and repeat playbook. What if the real upside isn't yet another chatbot, but creating apps? Simple, focused products that solve one problem and scale. Think a clean habits tracker, a study tool with smart review, a tiny booking system for local pros. Even apps that look intimidating, like Duolingo, are largely structured content and repeatable exercise patterns. With today's AI, you can generate and orchestrate that content without touching code. So here's the promise. In this video, I'm going to prove it live. We'll go from an idea in plain English to a native app you can run on your phone, step by step, fixing anything that breaks on the spot and polishing the design so it feels like something you'd actually ship. We'll use Rourke, an AI that turns prompts into real iOS and Android apps with a QR preview you can test instantly. If you want to build along, the link to Rourke is in the description. Before we jump in, do this right now. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a genuinely positive comment. Here's how we're going to build this in a way you can copy tonight. Our demo app is called Daily Spark. It's a clean, fast habit and streak tracker. I tell Rourke exactly what to build in plain English so the AI can't misunderstand me. Rourke generates the project. On my first run, I hit a small bug. Marking a habit as done looked correct visually, but the streak didn't update. That happens. I told Rourke, in normal language, when I tap mark as done, the current streak doesn't increment. Please fix it so it increases by one today and persists after reload. It patched the logic in a moment. Now, when I complete a habit, the current streak and the longest streak update properly. Time to test on a real phone. I scan the QR with Expo Go. I create drink water with a water emoji and read 10 minutes with a book emoji. On drink water, I tap mark is done and the streak jumps to one. Back on home, I see today's completion indicator. I refresh the preview and nothing is lost. Habits and today's completion persist exactly as expected. If you bump into anything similar, just describe it clearly. Work doesn't burn the chat or throw the entire app away. It applies a targeted fix and keeps going. Now that the core loop works, I make it look great without touching the logic. I ask Rourke to keep all functionality and upgrade the design with modern typography, comfortable spacing, rounded cards with a soft shadow, and smooth screen transitions. When I mark a habit as done, I want a subtle, satisfying check animation. In settings, I keep the light and dark theme toggle. And yes, switching to a darker theme looks fantastic out of the box. On the habit detail screen, I wrap the done button with a progress ring that fills when I complete today. Same stack, no library changes. Another thing I love about Rourke is the preview flexibility. I can flip between iOS, Android, and web right inside the preview. The Android view even opens in a device frame, which gives you a very realistic, professional look at how your UI will feel on an Android phone. The iOS preview is equally smooth, and the web view is perfect for quick checks or sharing with teammates. On top of that, the QR testing on a real device makes it effortless to catch small spacing and tap target issues you'd miss on desktop. To add a little delight, I ask for a smart suggestions row on home. I tell Rourke to add a slim strip that proposes one small nudge for today, based on what I tend to miss. An extra glass of water, five bonus pages, a quick stretch. If no AI key is set, it should rotate through helpful, pre-written tips, so the app never blocks. When I tap a suggestion, it deep links me straight to that habit's detail screen. It's a tiny feature, but it makes the app feel alive and personal. Before we jump into the bonus ideas, a quick tour of a few buttons you'll use once you start building. On the left, there's a small gift icon. If you click it, you'll see social share options. X, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, or YouTube. Sharing your project there earns you extra credits, so you can keep developing without friction. Look near the prompt box where we've been typing. 
you can choose between different AI models to build your app, and you can also upload images as visual references so Rourke understands the style or layout you want. It's a handy way to steer the design without writing a single line of code. Back in the top right menu, you'll find Integrations. This is where you can hook your app into other AIs and services to make it far more complete. Backend options, GitHub syncing for version control, and environment variables for API keys. If you want to deep dive on the best integrations to use with Rourke, tell me in the comments and I'll make that video. You can also download the entire code base if you want to move it elsewhere or pass it to another AI for a second opinion. And there's a clone into a new chat option, which is perfect when you have a stable version and want to run riskier experiments in a safe branch without touching your main build. Now, the most important button, publish. When you click publish, you get a shareable link and a QR, so anyone can try your app in seconds. You can also go straight to publish to the Apple App Store or publish to the Play Store. If we click Apple, you'll see no submission yet. Create your first submission to get started. Hit new submission and work walks you through the required steps to upload your app. The Play Store has a slightly different flow because each store has its own rules, but it's straightforward and Work's guidance makes it hard to get lost. If you want a complete walkthrough on the Play Store flow, which plans to pick, and a practical monetization setup, say the word in the comments and I'll put that together. As promised, let's finish strong with HiroI app ideas and exactly what to ask work, spoken in natural language, so you can copy the request and paste it in when you're done watching. First idea, Study Pilot, a study planner that also generates flashcards from your notes. Ask work to build a native iOS, Android, and web app using Expo. The goal is organized, repeatable study. You want courses with chapters and tasks that have deadlines, a daily plan view, a Pomodoro timer, and streaks. Ask for a simple function that turns pasted notes into flashcards right now, with the ability to replace that stub with a real API later. Include export to CSV or PDF, even if it's a placeholder at first. For monetization, keep it free for one course and 100 flashcards, and offer Pro for unlimited courses, cloud backup, and advanced analytics. For acceptance, create a course, add tasks, generate 10 flashcards, log a study session, and confirm that everything persists after restart. Second idea, set and rep, a gym routine builder. Ask Rourke to build routines made of exercises, sets, reps, rest times, and notes. Include a session tracker with a timer, personal best tracking, and progress charts for weight and reps over time. Ship it with a mock exercise library that you can update later. The monetization model is free for three routines and pro for unlimited routines, cloud sync, and export. Use a high contrast UI and add haptic feedback when a set is completed. For acceptance, create a routine, log a session, see the chart update, and confirm the data persists. Third idea, book me local, a simple booking app for solo professionals. Ask Rourke to create services, time slots, a booking flow, cancellations, a provider profile, and a basic inbox for confirmations. Add authentication with provider and client roles, read-only calendar sync, and local push notifications for reminders. Monetization is pro for providers with custom branding, unlimited bookings, and basic analytics. For acceptance, a client books a slot, the provider sees it in a dashboard, cancellation works, and reminders fire locally. Fourth idea, Budget Buddy, a minimalist expense tracker you can actually stick with. Ask Rourke to build a native app with quick ad expenses, categories with emoji, monthly budgets, and a clean dashboard that shows spending versus budget at a glance. Require local persistence with an optional backend for sync later if you want it. Offer free for one wallet and one monthly budget, pro for multiple wallets, exports, and cloud sync. For acceptance, add five expenses, see category totals update, set a budget, and confirm the numbers persist after restart. Fifth idea. Mood Minute, a one-minute daily journal with a mood slider. Ask Rourke to add daily entries with a mood scale and tags, a calendar view, and weekly and monthly trends. Include a stub for AI journaling prompts that you can wire later, reminders, and a privacy lock using a PIN or biometrics. 
monetization is free for 30 stored entries and pro for unlimited entries, export, and advanced insights. For acceptance, log entries for three days, see the chart update, verify the PIN lock, and confirm everything persists. Pick one and build it. Paste the natural language request into Rourke, scan the QR, and get a working prototype in minutes. Share the public link with a few friends, collect feedback, and iterate once or twice before adding a paywall. If this helped, hit like, subscribe, and leave a positive comment. Remember, my bot will analyze that you watched the entire video, that you liked, that you subscribed, and that you left a positive comment, and it will send you a private PDF with my best free AI tools I've never shared on the channel. The link to Rourke is in the description, so you can try it right now. I'll see you in the next one, where we publish an experiment with monetization live.